Hello, mathematicians, puzzlers, and other curious people. If you are like a lot of people doing an algebra problem, you really wish that that problem were dealing with a linear function, because linear functions are so easy to calculate with. They're just, they're some of the easiest things ever. Well, the problem though with linear functions is they're literally not very flexible. You know, they can only go in straight lines, that's why we call them linear. So one solution for this is to come up with some linear functions that are good approximations for nonlinear functions, and we can use piecewise linear approximation of any function to try to make it easier to calculate with. So here I'm working with x squared minus 4, and I drew out a rough sketch of it, and I want to come up with pieces for three subdomains. Uh, the subdomain for all x values from negative 2 to 0, from 0 to 2, and then from 2 to 4. I could do more. We could extend this as far as we want to. So starting with from negative 2 to 0, the idea is I'll be looking at going from that point to that point and drawing a line between them. Approximately this line. Now remember, I'm not going to continue this line and try to use that to approximate the function in any way. I'll have a different piece of the function. Well, how do I do that? Well, I'm going to be using the point-slope form of an equation, and I'll be calculating the slope using those two points. This will all go the usual way. Actually, won't even need point slope form for this one. I just noticed I've got the intercept. Awesome, just need the slope. So what I'll have here is negative 2x minus 4. Now I see that that is symmetric, so I'm expecting that to be positive 2x minus 4. The blue one's trickier. And that's up off the screen somewhere. It'll go up something like that. Where does that go? Well, let's see. And again, we could continue this idea out as far as we want to uh, in either direction. Hence the ellipses at both ends of the three pieces of the function that I've done here. Now this would make calculating an approximate value for the function much easier because I could just, you know, multiply and subtract. It all would just work the usual way. So that's the idea of coming up with a piecewise approximation to a linear function. You're actually allowed to use as narrow of subdomains as you want to. I just chose two unit wide intervals. And it can really come in handy for problems where you have to do a lot of calculations with a nonlinear function. So try it out, see what you think about it, and especially use that when you could use an estimate uh, to check your work off of, or because you're doing an application problem that inherently has some tolerance. Other than that, calculator.